I simply have to face the fact he touched me. Moonlight and love songs never out of date. Hearts full of passion, jealousy and hate. About your new CD that's coming out. Yes, it's uh, it's Roger. It's called a tribute to Richard Rogers, and it's mostly Rogers in part. And so it's the low voice that I'm using on the album. And Les Brown Jr. Uh, did the did the charts, and I, I recorded it in Branson, Missouri. And so it's a very different sound for me. And kind of I used a couple of things in tonight's show, you know, where I'm singing very low, basically, you know, and uh, and doing some more swing stuff. And that's what the album is too. Now. I saw all those wonderful leading men that you kissed. Was there a man that got away that you wanted to and never got a chance to work with? Uh, Can you think of it? Or you got them all? Well, my goodness, Cary Grant. Although I got, I met Cary Grant and got to know him because uh -huh. Marty got a commercial for him. So I met him. And who else? Um, think Richard got Burton? I, got to, I never worked with Richard, but I met him and I sang with him. You know, he's Welsh, and I'm Welsh heritage. And he said, we got to sing together. You know, all, all Welshmen can sing. And he took me into a, a room and was at a party with him. And he, but he did it in Gaelic. I said, I, I can't sing in Gaelic. I don't, I can't, you know. You have such gorgeous sons because you're so beautiful. Yes. And they're so talented. What about the grandchildren? Are anybody showing signs oh, of taking very, over the very, reign? Very much so, yes. Patrick has two sons. They're 16 and 13. The 13-year-old is a piano virtuoso. He writes his Beethoven. He writes, he sings, he plays. I mean, unbelievable stuff. It's genetic. Yeah, it is genetic. My little granddaughter, who's 13, is now doing carousel, playing my part in the theater. It was spectacular. Yes, she's amazing. She's amazing. I've watched her for many years, but she's amazing. How did you feel on the opening night of your wife's performance? Well, I was terrified. She's never played an intimate um, uh, cabaret before. It's always symphony concerts. And, you know, she's not a jazz singer. And I thought perhaps here they're going to look for that Scooby-Doo. And she's not a Scooby-Doo lady. She's still Broadway, but um, it worked out great. She's got a kind of a charm that transcends all that stuff. People 